The Lord says, Those who walk in my ways, walk in the light. Trumpet call of God. Yet those who refuse my ways abide in the darkness already. February 9, 2011 From the Lord our God and Savior The Lord's Word spoken to Timothy during an online fellowship for the Lord's little flock and for all those who have ears to hear. A brother in Christ said, Will you all pray for a sister in Christ? She is going through hard times and is convinced that God is trying to kill her, or something along those lines. Thus says the Lord, I know all my sheep, and though they wander and betray their own hearts, I do not punish them. They punish themselves, for one who rejects my hand has brought upon themselves a great emptiness without healing. And by their own choice have they polluted and brought down this temple I had given them, rejecting the healer in favor of their own way, deceiving themselves. Therefore, I say woe to all who lay blame at the feet of the Lord. I do not stalk my sheep, as though they were prey. Yet I do call out after them, even leaving the ninety-nine to seek out the one who has gone astray. And those who know my voice come running, even as young lambs, leaping about in the open field in the height of summer. Therefore, let no one pollute my love or cover over my ways with darkness, nor let the remarks of the wayward enter in. Turn to God, seek out my ways, that you may walk in them. For in doing so, shall you come to know me as I truly am. Walk no more through dry places, Save when one calls upon you for a drink. Then shall you run to them, calling out to them also, that they may meet you on your way. Bring with you a basin filled with water to wash their feet, in accordance with their willingness, and a large pitcher of water which you shall pour upon them. Yet bring no towel. My little flock, laugh with me, Yes, pour the whole pitcher of my love upon their heads and leave them there soaking, wet through and through. Do not just cool their tongue. Pour it out, pour it upon them, for this is my love. Now picture me with all my sheep in the kingdom of my joy and rejoice. Laugh, says the Lord, for what is all this darkness to me? My children, what is all this death to me? What is all this pain to me? What of all this sin? Am I not the victory? My victory is not in part. I am the victory absolute for all time. By my blood is all sin cleansed. In my love all hurts are healed and every tear is wiped away. By my death was death put to death, and by my life are you saved. In my glory evil is consumed, and all darkness flees away. I am the healer. Sin is dead, its power is broken, and all that which remains in the world, bearing fruit in unrighteousness, shall be wiped away at the last day. Therefore, 
Stop giving heed to the illusions of this world, to all its lies, for it is accomplished. I am risen. Now go, beloved, and seek my face, devour my words, and drink deeply from my cup, and bear much fruit in righteousness, says the Lord who is faithful. He whose love is revealed in the obedience of his own, in all those he sees of himself, until the day comes where you shall be perfected in me, with the perfect living fully in you, to the glory of the Father. Amen and Amen.